Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Hey, it's Comic Country 1014 coming at you with another comic haul there. Uh, this is going to be from uh, Second and Charles. Yeah, they had a uh, they were having these uh, buy two get the third one free. Uh, yeah, so I went in there today and uh, picked up quite a bit of books. I'm going to break it up into three videos. I'm going to have like my DC uh, books, my Marvel books, and then my independent books. Uh, yeah, because I, I got quite a bit. Uh, so uh, what uh, what I have in front of you guys. Ah uh, yeah, this was uh you know Justice number two. Oh man, I just love this Alex Ross cover. Oh my gosh, man, look how beautiful that cover is right there. Uh, I don't, I've never seen. I know it's not worth anything, but maybe a couple of bucks here and there. But like I said, just uh, I love the cover, and that's why I picked it up. You know, Batman right there, and dead center right there, just looking over. I think that's the Riddler right there, and then you have you know Superman and Wonder Woman, you know, right behind him on either side of his shoulders, you know, and then you have the Martian Manhunter and the Flash and all that. Ah, that's just a sick cover, man. I love it. Like I said, I know it's not worth that much, but still, it's a, it was a pretty good, pretty good pickup. And I believe this one was, a, I think it was fifty cents as well. So like I said, buy two get one free. So just keep that in mind. So then this one, uh, you know, this was, uh, you know, fifty cents here. <clears throat> Another fifty cent one. I know this isn't worth too much as itself, you know, or as well, you know, it's just the world's finest comic starring Superman and Batman, <clears throat> and Batman number two ninety nine. I just like just because of the cover itself, you know, Batman with that, you know, kind of like uh, the executioner kind of style. Uh, you're getting ready to, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, cut off uh, Superman's head, you know, ex well, except executioner style, you know. Um, but anyway, like I say, it was just a cool cover. You know, 50 cents, I'm not going to let that go. So that's, uh, that's the second one. So like I said, buy two, get one free. So I got this one, I guess you can consider it as free because, you know, it's buy two, get one free. So, so every third book in the show, I pretty much got it for nothing. Uh, this one is the Batman Batman Adventures uh, number twenty one. Uh, I have like a little run of that going on. I mean, I don't have uh, you know Harley Quinn, the first appearance of Harley Quinn, of course, you know. But uh, uh, but I have it. I think from going from maybe seventeen on, I guess. Um, so uh, and I think I was missing this. This was the only one I would, I think I was needing in my in that in that run there. Uh, so for fifty cents, I ain't gonna let that go. And actually, for nothing, actually, <laughs> so it's just for free. So it up for nothing, pretty much. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool cover, too, you know. Cat girl and the cat woman and Batman. Uh, yeah, it's, I, guess, I don't know. I think that's a man bat, I guess. I'm not too sure. Or uh, I don't know who in heck it is, really. No, it's not a man bat. I don't think it is. Anyways, you know, it's <laughs> just a cool cover, anyway. Uh, this one is uh, The Adventures of Superman here. Uh, this is a uh, new stand edition. Uh, I believe, I'm not, this isn't the first appearance uh, the Doomsday. I think it's when he, he landed or whatever, and... Him and uh, you know Superman were just going you know toe to toe, uh, but I remember having this one in my collection. You know when it, when Superman, the Death of Superman, you know first came out. You know I don't know how long ago that was, but um, yeah, I think it was I don't know back in 1992. I guess it was you know uh, when this run was going on, and I had the whole series you know from uh, beginning to you know his you know to the, the black you know the black bag you know version of it uh, you know so but I sold all those sold all those off a couple of, a few years ago, but anyways uh, to pick this up for a dollar twenty five. Uh, great, great price, you know, and it's an awesome book, to, you know, as well. <clears throat> I don't even know if I can say what it was. It's the Adventure of Superman, uh, number 497. Yeah. Cool artwork, too. It was a good, good battle as well. All right, so these are some more 50 cent pickups. Tales of the Teen Titans, number 41. Uh, this is the Fate of Brother Blood. Um, I don't know why I picked them up. I guess I just got them because they were 50 cents, you know? <laughs> so, uh, it's a new stand edition, I believe, as well. It's a, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, it's like I would say maybe a fine minus probably. Um, yeah, I mean, I know it looks kind of crappy right now because the bag it's, it was in, it has no backing to it or nothing like that. But that's you know, so why I picked this up because uh, I don't know any if it has any real significance to it or not. But like I said, I just picked it up just because fifty cents, you know. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna pick it up all day long. So that's that one. And then there's a uh, Tales of the Teen Titans uh, number fifty three. Like I said, I don't know any. I don't know if this has any importance to it or not. Uh, I just picked them up just because, you know, I just I, I just saw them there. And, you know, I just uh, didn't want to let those go for 50 cents. So, that's you know, that's, that's the second one. So, this one's pretty much free, <laughs> I guess. Would be, like I said, every third one's going to be a free book, pretty much, because it's buy two, get one free. Uh, this is uh, Marv Wolfman and Rich Buckler, uh, Tales of the Teen Titans, number 52. And then thinks this is, I don't know if this is the, the first appearance of Lady Cheshire or Cheshire or whatever. Um, but I mean, it may be, I don't know if it is or not, if that's, you know, if she's, if she's an important character or not, uh, but, you know, I just got it just cause like I said, I just kind of 
saw all these books there sitting there, and like I said, I wasn't gonna let them let them sit there, sit there. So, so that one I guess I got for free there. <clears throat> oh, this one's gonna be Tale of the Teen Titans fifty four. The reason why I got is because Deathstroke. Uh, I know he's he's gonna be, uh, I guess, appearing in you know the new Batman movie if it ever happens. I don't know if you guys heard or not. Uh, ben Affleck's gonna he's I guess withdrawing from directing the new Batman. I guess I don't know what, what the heck that's what's going on there, but. Whatever, but yeah. So I, 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 if he's if the movie does happen, and he is the villain. You know, I, I, you know, I think this book could be you know, not worth a lot, but you know, it might be worth something. I don't know. But anyways, you know, for um, fifty cents, I'm not gonna let that go. Then we have Tales of the New Teen, New Teen Titans. This is a, I think this is Cyborg in his own series. I think, um, with the Justice League movie coming out, you know, and Cyborg, you know, making an appearance. Uh, I mean, I, I think this could be worth. You know, it could go for a little chunk of change. I mean, I don't know if it is. Or not. I don't. I know it's not his first appearance, but you know, it might be his first series. Um, like I said, for fifty cents, yeah, you can't go wrong there. This would be the second one there, so you can consider this one being free, I guess. So that's the Teen Titans Spotlight Cyborg number twenty. Uh, I don't even know if I even said what number. Oh, that was number one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Exactly. Like you know, with the you know, like I said, Cyborg. You know. Um, you know, being in the you know in the new new Justice League movie, um, yeah, I mean, who knows what this book could you know some of his uh, appearances could be, you know, uh, worth a little change if not. It was kind of cool cover, anyways. You know, uh, like I said, I found all these books in the in the fifty you know, fifty cent bin, and I just wasn't gonna leave them there. So, so I guess you can consider this one as being free right here. It's got for nothing. All right, uh, this is Tales of the New Teen Titans starting to Changeling. Uh, I don't know anything about this guy. I don't. I mean, yeah, I don't know any. I don't know this character at all. I just, I just got it just because. <laughs> um, so, so anyway, yeah, that's for fifty cents right there. And here we go in the dollar twenty-five uh, <clears throat> books. Ah oh, man, I'm not ever gonna leave these, uh, you know, Batman the uh, Hush series books in, in any bin. You know, I don't care what price. I mean, well, I mean, I care if it's like, you know, four or five bucks. You know, I mean, I don't know. But uh, for a dollar twenty-five, um, yeah, I'm not gonna leave th I'm not gonna leave that there, you know. It's, you know, it's a it's a, <laughs> it's a it's a cool out of book, and you know, it's a cool series as well too, you know. So I think I already have like three or four of these in my collection already. So so that'd be one, and then the next one would be number eleven. Yeah, it's just a cover by Jim Lee. I mean, just uh, Batman and Poison Ivy, and you know, <laughs> it has Catwoman and you know Ivy's uh, you know in her Ivy's. <laughs> so. Um, because I think she has Batman under her spell anyways, or under her, you know, her possession, or well, whatever it is, under her, whatever. It just has her under her control, pretty much. So that would be the second one. And this one, I guess I can, you can say I got this one for free then. I guess it would be the third book. And I think I've seen this in several, oh man, I didn't even know this had any kind of glare. Oh man, I didn't even know that. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys and gals. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I've seen this in a few of you guys' videos, and you guys are talking about, I can't remember what, I don't know if this is the first appearance of his, in his black costume, uh, I don't know if that's what, why this is, I mean, I, why I keep on seeing this in everyone's videos, um, but, uh, you know, so I, I had seen it there, you know, last week, and I didn't pick it up, because I didn't know anything about it, and then I watched a few videos, and people keep on sh posting this, you know, and showing in their videos, and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I gotta pick it up. Um, so I came across it again. It was still there in the box. I picked it up. Uh, I guess I, you know, got it for nothing pretty much. So another book you guys have been posting and talking about um, in your in your haul videos. And um, like I said, I just I, I came across this by chance. I mean, I was looking like I had, was looking in several long boxes, and I was hoping I'd run across this one. And sure enough, I did. And uh, you know, so this is a. Uh, Week three, um, well, 52, week three here. Um, I can't remember what the heck the significance is of this one either. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, I know I've seen this in several of you guys' videos, and so I just decided to pick it up. I found it, so. So, that's one. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, I came across this the very end of that day, of today, you know, I was... Getting ready to head on out, and I was like, "No, I'm gonna look, you know, one more time through Superman books." That's why I came across that one, the one before it. And uh, you know, I was like, oh, "I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give up just yet. Not, I can't, you know, you know, my heart's pounding, I'm getting, you know, my adrenaline's pumped, you know." So I was like, "You know," so I was just kind of going as fast as I could, and 
I saw this this one right here pop up. Like, oh snap! No way! I'm I'm I've never seen this one. I mean, I'm sure you guys have posted this one, but I've seen. Um, you know, I haven't I haven't had any of these in my collection. Uh, so there is a little bit of damage to it, of course, you know. But I mean, I wasn't gonna leave that there. I mean, J. Scott Campbell. I mean, if you guys can see right there, it's like a little stain, right? I don't know what happened, um, but. And it has a little bit of some uh, corner damage up in here, uh, like a little crease. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's it. I mean, it's, it's in pretty good condition. <clears throat> like I said, I, I, it's, a, it's a cool ass cover, you know. Uh, Supergirl and I don't know who the other one is. Oh, it's Gen 13. That's uh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Supergirl and Gen 13. Um, yeah, so that's the character from Gen 13. I can't remember her name as well. But you know, Campbell Cumber, Ca Campbell Campbell cover. <laughs> I just not gonna let that go. <laughs> So, and last but not least, um, this is one of my eBay purchases that I had. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty sick cover by Adam Hughes. By Adam Hughes, you know. Uh, yes, is a Catwoman '82. I've seen this in several of you guys' videos. I think I first saw it in, in Mercenauts' video. Um, yes, yeah, so I picked it up for two bucks. Two bucks plus shipping. I think it was, total is probably about four four bu four bucks. I think four fifty. I think was shipping. I also got another book in the in the lot as well too, which is in my Marvel um, stack. Uh, so I got both those books, uh, you know, with shipping. I guess I paid like two bucks a piece for each of them. So, uh, but uh, yeah, so this is a it's a pretty cool book. I love this. I love Adam Hughes covers, you know. And um, so I'm trying. I'm slowly trying to get the Catwoman, uh, you know, books uh, by by Hughes. Uh, you know, trying to pick them up here and there. Uh, so whenever I see them on eBay for a decent price, if I can find them, I haven't had no luck in the wild actually. But I think. I had come across. I had come across one, but I sold it. You know, before I, his popularity started, you know, growing, um, like a stupid ass, <laughs> like a dumbass. I just went ahead and sold it. But yeah, so this is uh, this would be like I guess my first actual uh, Catwoman, Adam Hughes cover. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, uh, that's my DC haul. I uh, hope you guys and gals liked. Um, like I said, uh, my contest is ending. I thought it was the 26th or the 25th at 8, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I already have about, I'm um, up to 15 uh, uh, entries so far. Uh, I seen, a, I read a couple of you guys, uh, you know, post uh, that you guys are going to, you know, go ahead and post a video. So I might be up to maybe close to, I don't know, 17 or 18, you know, um, uh, by the time this weekend's over, I guess. But anyways, uh, just, uh, you know, be aware of that. Just give you guys a heads up. Uh, so this is uh, my DC haul. Uh, like I said, this is uh, Comic Hunter uh, signing off. All right. Cheers, everybody.